Hi, my name is Giuseppe Tentori. I'm a second chef and partner here at GT Fish and Oyster in Chicago. I grew up in Italy. My grandma and my mom used to cook a lot. That's why I got involved in the kitchen. So when I search for the perfect ingredients, I want to touch it, I want to feel it, I want to smell it. Today, I'm going to take you this fun adventure. We're going to find some ingredients at the market and some other fun places to create a perfect dish. Sir, how's it going? Good, what you calling right. me? Let's go around. Hi, man. Yeah. Hanging limon is pretty spicy, right? Yeah, they got a nice heat to them, but they're good flavor as well. You guys want to taste it? You took a big bite. But it's I took a big bite. <laughs> You're a big guy too, Mitch. There <laughs> <laughs> it is. So what do you think about this potato? You know? I think for the potato puree, the Yukons will be great. Potato puree, and maybe like a tomato for your dish. Peter, thank you very much. Right, good to see Bye. You How are you? Good, yeah, how are you? Good it's to good see to see you. you. You know, John, Mitch. Rod, Rod, what's going on? The dream team. So we are looking for something new. We want to add a couple new dishes at GT. I'm kind of intrigued by this black lemon here. It's how they make black lemon. So these are all sun-dried in the middle of the summer. We've got right now over 100 foragers we work with. I'm always on the hunt for something new and different. And then we're talking to people all over the world trying to, you know, figure out a, if it's legal, or B, if you know we have the technology to make it happen. Can we see some truffle? Yeah, yeah. let's go check them out. So truffle. I mean, it's on Is right that white? now. What's the price on the white now? Well, about uh, twenty-three thousand dollars. That's not bad. Twenty-three thousand. <laughs> so these are mazutake. Yeah. So this, these are the Japanese grade, the number one grade, and they treat these like they're golden. So Mitch, the black garlic. Black garlic for sure. For the swordfish. Yeah. But this is like almost balsamic pearl. I think that should be. Can okay, you want to check it out with a dish? Yeah. Do it. Done. Thank you, Rob. Very much. We opened GT Fish and Oyster in 2011. It's been established for the last four years, so it's time to open a new baby. So we're going to open this new restaurant called GT Prime. This is going to be a twist of the steakhouse. We're going to have like about 30 different dishes, all of with smoked cuts of meat. What I love about cooking is the reaction from the customer. The smile, they're happy. 95% of the time, there is this 5%. Like my daughter, she doesn't like my food. She loves mac and cheese out of the box. But then most of the guests here are very happy. That's what I love about it. So, Johnny, we went to the market, got this beautiful tomato. We did this Napoleon with king crab. And uh, the black lime, too. So now we're going to try it, because the lime, I wasn't sure it would be the right fit. It tasted a little bit of that bite, but no, I don't like it. The perfect dish to do without this uh, black line. I agree. For your dish, Mitch, we'll do the swordfish with the potato puree and make black garlic and mushroom tea. Awesome. Perfect. Can you taste it? Let's do it. I like it. Black garlic makes that sauce. Who can taste it? What is Johnny? Let's go find John. Today, we went out and researched for the perfect ingredients. Black line did not make sense for the dish. This was perfect for the dish. I think this is a winner. It's gonna go on the menu tonight. Time. All right, let's do it. Let's Good do job, it. guys. Good job, Mitchie. <laughs> Johnny. 